Hail and well met everyone, Captain Deadeye is back with you with more World of Warcraft Dragonflight and our Troll Warlock. Hope everyone is doing well today, thank you so much for clicking on the video and spending a few moments of your day with me. Uh, we just landed back in uh, Vendetta Point uh, in the Southern Barrens. We're going to continue questing here today and uh, we have some lions to kill. Uh, we have to uh, collect some Theramor badges from the Alliance um, and uh, find out what happened to... Uh, Camp Mohoshe down here, so let's get started. Mohachi. Have you said. Oh man. I wanted to skin that. Skin that zebra. Zebra, whatever. Wow's version of a zebra. I knew the Tatarans had blocked off uh, Mulgore, uh, you know, from Alliance invasion. But I did. I forgot actually uh, about this giant wall here. One of these siege engineer, engineers don't give us anything. Prairie dog. I love how these storm sets are just like walking among, and the lions are just walking among these guys. Rather than attacking them. Here's our first banner we have to uh, protect. Nice, got all the badges I needed. <laughs> that was quick.
our soul stone up and a uh, hellstone distance is. I thought we had like, I thought there were like three hills we had to defend, but I guess not. Just one. Recapture our watchtower there. The winds guide you. There you are. Thrall Hall. Here's your badges. Your blades never dull. Siegebreaker, Zonzo, you have proven yourselves in the field of blood. Now the Alliance downs, but the Alliance still threatens our Tauran friends. The siege machinery outside the gates of Mulgore is like a spear aimed at our heart. I want you to go to the gates south of here and remove those siege vehicles from play. Here, use these sticky bombs. They're courtesy of our goblin al new goblin allies. It looks as though they're stuffed explosive power into what looks like a grease-covered socks, but they'll do. For the horde. Ah, I've been expecting. And there's level 34. Perfect. Yeah, we'll do uh, the souls. Get a little more out of our health stones. Number four. Is that finished? McGraw, go forth to victory. Very good. Now, should they storm the gates, we will have to do so with infantry. Do you think you have the stomach for that? Straight. Taking back Toroho. Outstanding work at the gates, Zanzo. The main body of the Alliance force is in general retreat, but I am not satisfied. They sacked Toroho and is a little more than Hunter's Camp. This alliance is unmasked at last for what it really is, a renegade bunch of butchers. Even now, a group of humans linger behind to pick the bones of, Toro of the smoldering Toroho. Blood Hill hurls an axe into the dirt. Make them suffer. Be safe. We have another quest here. How may I aid Honoring the dead. With the immediate threat gone, can you help us help with some grim business? We Tauren do not bury our dead. We prepare the body for its return to the elements and place it at our sacred grave sites. Those killed at the Toraho massacre have had no funeral, and I worry misguided alliance soldiers will burn the bodies of the dead before proper rites have been performed. Zanzo, please take this totem to Toraho and place and perform services for Kurumu, Dona, Dron, Yanda, Yanada, and Omasu. Omusu. Omusa? Uh, they did not make it out of there. Go in peace.
here's Drawn, the skinning trainer. Or Drana, Dra Drana, Drana. Cruel Moo. Leather working trainer. There's the innkeeper. I don't know his name or her name. Get a tour over here. Rider. I got, yeah, I've got three of those. That's crazy. Three elixir of giant growth recipes. What do you need? All right. Strength. Desolation hold inspection. Thanks to you, the immediate threat is over, but my work here in the Barrens is only beginning. The Honor Stand was captured by Tar and Karaholi was sacked while Warlord Gardul was in charge of the region. The War Chief has sent me to clean up his mess. I would like you to ride the Desolation Hold in the south in advance of me and let Gardul know that the time for it is a time of reckoning. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Talk to me when you are ready to leave, and I will assemble my vanguard to accompany you. Be safe. Hail. May the eternal sun. We know what bows her head, thank you. Alright, my data point's finished. Speak, friend. Go forth to victory. Nope. Loktar. Alright, let's go. So say I don't see a vanguard. I <laughs> see just me on a wolf. There's one guy, okay. We're going down here, okay. Yeah, I've completely forgotten about, you know, them blocking off Morgor. I think theirs are in Duskwallow Marsh. I'd like to go down and do Oldham too. I love Oldham. It's one of my favorite zones in the entire game. I love the Indiana Jones quest line. It's been a long time since I've done it, but if Cataclysm Classic launches, we'll do all them on Cataclysm Classic, I think. I probably could have flown here faster than riding with a Vanguard, but whatever. It's the experience and the, uh, the immersion into what was Cataclysm. I mean, look at this thing. <laughs> Garrosh knows what he's doing. Well, he thought he did. Speak for 
children. Silophus. Silophus issues. The Silophid, these bugs, Anzo, are something like bugs. They're not natural. And we have built the forces on the equivalent of an anthill. Take this burning pitch. I'll set up the bugger and I'll, it'll set the buggers on fire and plug up their burrows at the same time. Be careful when you pour the stuff on there. The silithid will come out in swarms. Look for silithid mounds around the exterior desolation hole. They look like heaps of sand. Kill anything that crawls out. May your blades never dull. That's a weapon merchant. I guess we're going up the top of the hill. Greetings. Blightmare. The Alliance has hired a wild hammer mercenaries to control the skies over the battle scar. I believe these same Griffin Riders were the ones who had firebombed Toraho during the attack. I want our sky scour clean. The wild hammer dwarves fly low enough for sharp eyed warlock to hook them. Take this, hook, target the Griffins, and ma dismount the Riders. Once grounded, show them no mercy. Goodbye. What's this here? Garduel notified. Where's Garduel? Here he is. Mokra. I'm here on behalf of Warlord Bloodhilt, who wants you to know he will arrive shortly. Arriving shortly. Warlord Bloodhilt, Garrosh's pet. There's no need for him here. There's no need for him to be here. As you can see, uh, tell him I have the situation well in hand. I'll be sure to tell the Toraho refugees that those who lived. Ah, but supplies have gone tight. I've got a manpower shortage. Uh, tell Bloodhilt that. Uh, tell him yourself. He's almost here. Abu. Garduel breaks into a sweat. Ah, look, look, uh, at the... Let's not discuss this here, in front of the men. Changing of the Garduel. When Bloodhill arrives, I'd like to, uh, talk in private. Can you accompany me? To make sure things stay on level? On the level. This Bloodhill is, uh, uh, he's a loose cannon. Cannon. Garduel tries to compose himself. Meet me atop the northern tower, and we'll talk with Bloodhill together. <clears throat> So we have to go inside here. Yeah, here we go. Thank you, Zonzo. I trust you will uh, defer to my authority on this matter. <clears throat> so, this is where you're hiding, Garduel. Hiding? Listen, Bloodhilt, I've uh, reinforced our grip on the Barons. You cower behind your walls. It is as if Zanzo here were in the Alliance were marching through Mulgore. But they've gotten away, they've gotten reinforcements from Eastern Kingdoms, whereas I've been all but off. Your excuse is sick of me. Consider yourself relieved to command. Relieved over my dead body. So, you do have a spy. That was really fast reading there. <laughs> Hard to keep up with. <clears throat> oh, wait. I yield. I yield. Yield? You yield? What part of victory or death do you, you understand? Strength and honor. Beast domes. All right, you've just learned a little something about the inner workings of the Horde High Command. Warlord Bloodhill is now in charge of is in charge of Desolation Hold. Now he will have more for you to do in the courtyard below. Ah! Yeah, I guess I'll set my end here. Rahal. Strength. McGraw for the whole. Playing the battle scar. We have fought the alliance to a standstill here, even as the land beneath our feet falls apart. To the east, you will find the battle scar, a wide swath of decimated terrain that is a little more than a line in the sand, but it is our line. It must be our line. In the center of the scar, you will find a flag marking, marker designating who controls it. Scout out the flag. It is, if it is not already ours, capture it for the Horde and swing into battle. 
Swing the battle in our favor. Investigate the scar and kill anyone you find there. May your blades never dull. For the PvP horde. Thing? Let's see. Oh no. Okay. Loftar, strength. Intelligent warfare. I am convinced the Alliance is using spies to scout the field and pass along information. If they strike at a Toro, they will they know uh, they knew to strike at Toro while the hunters were afield, and they countered every one of Gardul's moves like he was an open book. Well, Zonzo, I for one will not be outplayed. Not here. We will win the battle for intelligence. Even now I hear reports of the Alliance operatives slinking around in the shadows, especially here outside these very walls. Kill them and bring me something of use. Go for Bring me back victory. something of use. And here's uh Gardul's body, by the way. Kind of funny. Threw him out the window. Okay, let's uh kill some silithid. So we're on top of the silithid mounds. That's where uh, that's where we're built here. I don't know why they decided to build here, but whatever. Finished. Quest here. What is it? Part parts is parts. I've always wanted to try to I've always wanted to try to making an abomination. It looks simple enough, but you know when you learn things from a book, there's no substitute for doing it. First, I'm going to need parts, lots of parts, and you're going to get them for me. I am no I'm no need to be picky, human orc, it doesn't matter. Parts is parts. Just be sure the corpse you harvest from the battle scar so I know they're fresh. Calder presses a rusted, gore-covered bone saw into your hands and smiles disarming. Victory for Sylvanas. We gotta find the uh, sneaking alliance around here too. Oh, there we are. that. funny. Dismember each one of them. Come on, loot him. Each corpse only gives me one. I was hoping it would give me more than one. Oh, this one gave me three. Nice.
Oh, he's got six kids. Jeez. All right, that's it for those guys. Yeah, these guys certainly take some hits. They're not as easy to kill as the uh, other guys are. Come on. Last one. And normally one Chaos Bolt will knock him almost all the way down. Not, not this guy. Alright, we need uh, three more Vanguard. I got them all. <laughs> Sorry, zebra. I mean, uh, giraffes. I do not want to kill you. Is uh, the plural for giraffes giraffes or is it giraffe? one of those guys. All right, now we need the uh, banner. Where's the banner? Oh, here it is. Oh, it is Horde. Okay. Horde controls the battle scar. Your flight is... Your fight is slightly increased with primary stats. Let's get out of here before we get jumped again. This will hit 35. We'll get our Fellfire next. That'd be sweet. Alright, here are your parts. Hearts is hearts. These parts so lovely. Muscles send you in fingers and toes. I am so hungry right now. But work must come first. Once I stitch this part of a pile of parts together, I'm going to need a heart strong enough to pump sludge through a rat's nest of veins. I would have, would use my own heart, but it is shriveled up husk resembling a turnip. Okay. No, I need some real power. Give me a Kodo heart from one of those giant land quakers bale bulls to the south of Battlescar. Goodbye. It's a shriveled up old turnip. <laughs> Mongra, be safe. Four, Here's level 35. Four. May your blades never dull. Be All safe. Right. The Butcher of Toraho. This operative had owner had orders to secure the roadways between the Alliance Command and Fort Triumph. General Hawthorne is on the move. Blood Hill crumples the documents in his fist. It's him, Zonzo. Hawthorne. I spit on his I spit I spit the name. He is the one who ordered the assault on Toraho. Now we know when and where to strike him. Quickly, follow the road north of the battle scar and meet it with my assassin Carthog. Crush Hawthorne and string his body up along the road. Go forth to victory. Thrall Hall. Alright. Strength. Go forth to victory. Firestone Point. I've been on top of the sill at this situation for almost a month, which makes me the local expert. Just last week, the Earthen Ring was visiting and wanted to me to write down everything I know. Krogall, Krogall, uh, hands you the tattered book. I am not much of a writer, or a reader for that matter, but this book is probably the most definitive thing I've ever written about this foe. Deliver it to Torna Sky Chaser down in Firestone Point. It's south It's south up here, uh, just west of the main road. Be safe. Right, we have one quest turning up here. Hail. Wild Hammer down. Farewell. Torrent Vengeance. My people are not wrathful by nature, but sometimes a thirst for justice causes us to take up arms in anger. My old friend Gan Stonespire, on learning of the Butcher of Torho, flew into a fury. Tribal Elders could no longer hold his raids in check. 
Now he has all but parted ways with the Horde. He has gone rogue, Zonzo, and seeks to lash out at the Alliance with a small band of like-minded partisans. If you two seek vengeance, you will find him southeast of here, at the foot of Belmordon. Be careful. All right, so there's Belmordon. All right, let's take... Um, when your emulate deals periodic damage above the target by 80% health, you gain 2% haste for 10 seconds. Stacks three times. Let's do this. Let's do incinerate. We get a little more AOE on incinerate. Ammo start on our fell fire. That's pretty sweet. Speak with your demonic minion to earn the turner. Determine the origin of the tone. What can you tell me about the tone? Fascinating. Oh, I know what I have to do. I think I have to combine a health stone with it, don't I? Thought so. Maybe not. Already full health. Okay, I think I'm... Actually, I think I know what I need. I think I need the imp. It will tell me what to do. I have no idea, okay? Which one is it? No. Nope. Alright, let's try the succubus. Or the cyan. I thought I had the succubus. I don't know why. It is. Here we go. Script of the Nazarene, you call death boards. They rarely use it outside their home. Bring the codex to the warlock trainer in your capital city. Okay. All right, I'll do that off uh, off recording because it's going to take us a while. Well, we're not that far from. Honestly, we're not that far from uh, Orgamar. Let's go do that because I really want my fell fire. I really want to kind of a, complete the look of the green fire. Green fire. Blood and thunder. Go for it. it. won't take us that long to run up there really quick, we're, since we're in the Barrens here. Okay, let's look at talents really quick. I want to see where we're headed next. Um, so we've opened up this kind of row here, these two rows. Um, next is this increases the damage of Immolate by 13%. Grimoire Sacrifice. Sacrifice your demon pet for power, gaining command demon ability, and causes your, causes your spells to sometimes deal an additional 153 shadow damage. Okay. Chaos Boat, Shadow Burn, and Incinerate deal additional 5% damage to all targets inflicted by Emulate. So see, that's what I want to do. I want to start with Emulate. I want to lead with that and then hit them with everything else. Okay. When your Emulate deals periodic target to the damage, you know, we may do that as well. Chaos Bolt, Shadow Burn, increase the damage you deal to the target by 5% for 7 seconds. Okay. Flagrate and Shadow Burn have 25% guarantee the next cast of your ability to critically strike and increase the damage your critical strike chance. I like that. So we probably want to pick up Shadow Burn. What Shadow Blast of Target? Gaining 50% critical chance on targets that have le that have 20% or less health. Huh. Alright, so this really is like a finishing move, honestly. Let me pick that up next. We'll see. Increase damage. I definitely want this. Increase the damage. Conflagrate, Shadow Burn, Soul Fire. The problem with Soul Fire, it does a lot of damage, but it's a 3.71, a 3.7 cast time. It takes a while, and it generate. Oh, it does generate one Soul Shard. See, Chaos Bolt's 2.8, and that's long enough. And it does 500 more damage than that too. Hmm. Every 15 soul shards you spent grant Ritual of Ruin, making your next Chaos Bolt or Reign of Fire consume no soul shards and have its cast time reduced by 50%. Incinerate generates 100% additional soul shard fragments. Okay. Summon Infernal. I love the Infernal. Let 
impacting for 181 fire damage and stunning all enemies for 2 seconds. The Infernal will serve you for 30 seconds, dealing 150 damage to all nearby enemies every 1.8 seconds and generating one soul star fragment every half a second. The Madness of Azjok here. Chaos Bolt increases the damage of Chaos Bolt. Chaos Bolt increases the damage of Chaos Bolt by 12% and reduces the cast time by Chaos Bolt by 10% for 5 seconds. Hmm. So you can just kind of like spam Chaos Bolts. Uh, Rain of Fire increases the damage of Rain of Fire by 12% for 5 seconds. Shadow Burns increases Shadow Burn for 12. That's interesting. Avatar of Destruction. When a Chaos Bolt or Rain of Fire consumes a charge of Ritual of Ruin, you summon Blasphemy for ten for 8 seconds. Summoning a Blasphemy from the Twisting Nether, impacting 181 fire damage and stunning all... Oh, so Blasphemy is, a, is another Infernal. Okay. Interesting. Infernal's melee attacks cause the target to take increase 3 damage from Revelation. Stacks up to 5 times. 15 times. So you don't get the Infernal as a pet, but you can reduce the cooldown on it. Let's see, Warlock Trainer. What does want to play a game? Uh, down here. <clears throat> I didn't know there was Class Trainer still in the game. I thought they were removed. Hmm. Actually, I actually need to go to them to reset your talents. Actually, not anymore. You don't have to. You can do it on the fly. <clears throat> Anyways. Yep, here he is. Blood and thunder. Farewell. Victory. Speak. For the horde. Read the first part of Legacy of the Masters. Did I just get that? I didn't get that. No, I didn't get that. Where did it... Legacy of the Masters. Where did that go? Nope. I do not remember this. Oh, here it is. Zug -zug. Dabu. Okay, I have to find four soul stone fragments. Victory! Take the portal to Pathfinder's Den to Shatrath. Oh wow, we have to go to okay, we have to go to each Okay, interesting. Let's see, where is the uh, portal to Oh yeah, duh, I know where it is. My brain's not working today. I'm gonna stop at the trading post really quick. I wanna pick up the monk set. Come see my well. Safe journeys. Um, let's see. This is pretty sweet. I, I put that, I saved that for later. Uh, because I know I want the monk set for this month. Nope, not that. Let's see, where is it? Huh? Oh, that's cool. Has this been updated? Yeah, Swift Zebra. Twisting Grove. That's interesting. Yeah, Spectral Griffin. I already have these two. Standard of the Guardian. Oh, that's cool. It's, uh... It's my Deve Staff. Or, well, it looks like... Like the... Let's see. Where the hell is it? 
Warrior, Warlock. Oh, here's the Warlock set. It's okay. The Gargoyles are okay. That's the one I want. That's a sweet set for a monk. Yeah, we're definitely buying that. And let's see. Huh? Foam sword pack. There was... I thought there was a, a monk... <clears throat> weapon as well. Sorry guys, I thought there was a monk weapon that we wanted to pick up as well. Maybe not. Depending on whether I buy this mount. I think it's pretty sweet. Hmm. Oh well, I'll look Spirit later. Let's let's move on to the chat you. wrath. I want to get my uh Bellfire. Hopefully we have enough time to do it. I don't know if we will or not, to be honest. Dalaran. I think it's below me. Speak right. no <clears> talk. <throat> Sorry, guys, got a frog in my throat all of a sudden. There it is, Shot Wrath. May take a minute to get there. We'll do our best. I'll come back to look at talents really quick while we're flying. Um, <clears throat> I don't know which path I want to go. Do I want to go Infernal or do I want to go Ritual of Ruin? <coughs> Goodness. I think, well, it's, it's basically like this. This is AoE. This is single target. That's kind of the way it works. If I'm running dungeons, then I think AOE is the way to go. If I'm running, if I'm if I'm questing, I think we want to go Ritual of Ruin because single target seems to be the way to go with questing. It seems to work a little better. Um, this is kind of cool. Fires a Chaos Bolt, dealing six turn and thirteen. Chaos damage. This Chaos Bolt always critically strikes and increases your critical strike chance increases its damage. That's cool. Chaos Bolt, Rain of Fire, Shadowborn always grant a maximum benefit to match the chaotic energies. What's my mastery? Master Chaotic Energy. Your spells deal 10.7% increased damage plus a random amount up to 10.7 increased damage. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Oh wow, this is going to take a while. Obtain the Hellfire Fragment. Read the journal. Use this information contained within to track down where she went. Alright, well we have the journal. It's right here.
It's been nearly two weeks since Karen Th Pan Thad and I arrived at Outland. Almost immediately afterwards, she departed for Shadow Moon Valley. I didn't bother to ask her as long as she didn't get herself killed. Alright. Fell imps in the path of anguish remain remarkably chatty. I've discovered that they are just as easy to contract into service as their names to learn. The ritual to summon one is trivial at best. Boy lords are rather difficult to stumble, stumble across, but it takes very little persuading to convince one to divulge the name of a rival lord. I have once encountered, I have wondered once or twice if Karen Thad will ever return. In the end, it doesn't actually matter. Okay, so we need fell imps and void lords. Okay, so I know where these guys are. They're right over here and over on the alliance side as well. Well, Fell Walker Imps, Fell Sprite, Dreadcaller, maybe not. I may have to look this up because I can't remember what I'm supposed to do here. I have it on my Warlock, on my uh, Borgen Warlock. I just, it's been forever since I've done this. Let's see here really quick. Maybe we can knock at least one of these out. Oh, it's different for Horde and Alliance. That would be why I've never done this before. I did not know that. <clears throat> okay. Sorry guys, trying to figure this out. I've never done this for Horde, so. Wowhead, you're not helping me at all. It's like click this to go to the next part of the quest, and then there's nothing there. Oh, here we go. I found it. All right, sixty-one point ninety-one and thirty-seven point three one. It's like right up here, it looks like. You sense a soul stone near this area, okay. <clears throat> do I have to kill for it? What do I have to do here?
It's a little purple thing. The, the Hellfire Fragment is in Fellspark Ravine. It's a little purple thing on the ground. Hellspark Ravine. Okay. Looking for something purple on the ground. There we go. I don't know if we have any flight paths in the other zones. I know we have this one because you always get uh, Hellfire regardless. Yeah, I don't. Nether Storm, Blade's Edge and Shadow Moon Fragment. Alright, tell you what, guys. I'm going to fly back to Shatrath. We're going to call it an episode there, and then um, next, at the beginning of the next episode, we'll pick this up right here. We'll find the other fragments and then continue this quest line. <clears throat> Actually, I think I'll just call it an episode here. I'll fly back to Shatrath and do that myself. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Sorry for the kind of the delay there. I was trying to look to see what I was looking for. I had no idea what I was looking for, but now I know. And as long as we're in that area, I can use that uh, cold, warm thing to find them. Thank you. Uh, I really do appreciate it. I hope everyone enjoyed this episode. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be back on our hardcore undead warrior. So come back for that. And uh, we'll make it to, uh, we're headed up to Outland. Or actually, I think I'm headed to Bellwood and then uh, into Winter Spring. Uh, to finish up Winter Spring. I'm going to do pretty much everything in Winter Spring, I think, on him before we go to Outland. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. Thank you, guys. Really do appreciate it. Hope you have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. We'll see you next time.